At least 125 people have been killed and more than 40,000 have fled their homes since the violence erupted in the state of Manipur and several zero FIRs were filed during this period. Just days before a zero FIR was filed in connection to the May 4th incident in which two Manipuri women were allegedly stripped and paraded in the state's Thubal district, another zero FIR was filed at the same police station pertaining to the alleged abduction, rape and murder of two Kuki Zomi women. Now, in this case also, it took the authorities more than a month to transfer the complaint to the relevant police station in Imphal East. In this video, we will understand what is a zero FIR and when is it registered. When a police station receives a complaint regarding an alleged offence that has been committed in the jurisdiction of another police station, it registers an FIR and then transfers it to the relevant police station for further investigation. Now, this is called a zero FIR when no regular FIR number is given. After receiving the zero FIR, the relevant police station registers a fresh FIR and starts the investigation. Now, several such FIRs were filed in Manipur since families had either been displaced or their loved ones were injured or killed in areas far away from home. Zero FIR is different from FIR. The term First Information Report is not defined in the Indian Penal Code, Code of Criminal Procedure 1973 or in any other law, but in police regulations or rules, information recorded under Section 154 of CRPC is known as First Information Report. Now, Section 154, which is information in cognizable cases, says that every information relating to the commission of a cognizable offence, if given orally to an officer in charge of a police station, shall be reduced to writing by him or under his direction and be read over to the informant. And every such information, whether given in writing or reduced to writing as aforesaid, shall be signed by the person giving it and the substance thereof shall be entered in a book to be kept by such officer officer in such form as the state government may prescribe. That was FIR. So when was the provision of zero FIR established? The provision of zero FIR came up after the recommendation in the report of the Justice Verma Committee, which was constituted to suggest amendments to the criminal law in a bid to provide for faster trial and enhanced punishment for criminals accused of committing sexual assault against women, according to a 2020 circular released by the Puducherry government. The committee was set up after the 2012 Nirbhaya gang rape case. The provision says a zero FIR can be filed in any police station by the victim irrespective of their residence or the place of occurrence of crime. So what is the purpose of a zero FIR? The objective is to ensure the victim does not have to run from pillar to post to get a police complaint registered. The provision is meant to provide speedy redressal to the victim so that timely action can be taken after the filing of the FIR. However, in most cases, as reported by the Indian Express, it has taken more than a month to transfer the FIRs to the relevant police station.